This year we've got a new kite. Um, it's called the Radar. It's a it's a fun little sporty do everything all around free ride kite. Um, we started playing around with this project uh, with a couple of different uh, goals in mind, and uh, you know we constantly get feedback from from distributors and riders like oh you know we don't have any kites that that relaunch like the old crossbows or the old switchblades you know I mean what, what can we get some of that back and and we just decided well hey well, let's put everything we know into this really compact little package and and uh, make a super high sweep um, low aspect ratio kite um, with a really simple bridle and um, let's make it fun to fly and and so we, we, we made a few prototypes and, and we were really surprised at how much fun this kite was. And, um, you know, as, as the development went on, I, because the aspect ratio is so low, we kind of thinned out the profiles a little bit and, and put some focus on, on making it not too powerful and too uh, uncomfortable, let's say, but rather we, we the combination of, of what we've done here and the bridling, we've made it actually very light and, and maneuverable. Of course, it's going to be fast and, and, and in steering and responsiveness because it's such a compact little kite because the aspect pressure is super low. But, you know, we were able to get it balanced really nicely. It's got a very big sweet spot on the sheeting. It's got um, a nice deep power range and the relaunch is absolutely incredible it's a matter of fact during the testing the hardest thing to do is to get the kite to lay down nose down on the water like if you're riding along and say well we're going to dump it in and let's get it down window us and see how it relaunches but just getting it into that position is the task because it's the second it goes down it kind of tries to roll on its side and take off again it's just the funniest thing it's if anyone can claim auto relaunch this is the one that like you do not have to take your hands off the bar to relaunch this kite you just rotate the bar and it's up. In most cases, it won't even get downwind of you. If you if you kind of ride towards it and stumble and fall to say you're a beginner and, and you're, the kite's kind of three quarters of the way down when you it won't end up below you in most cases because it already wants to roll up and take off. You know, it's also a crossover kite too because it, it does a little bit of everything. I believe it's going to be better in in the surf than most people think because of the aspect ratio it does tend to help it drift really nicely and the fact that it's very short and compact it steers really good too and it relaunches really good so you can get, the, get out of there if you're down and there's a big set coming you can get, get up and get out of there but you know the focus is on just being a good all-around kite to to learn on if you want to and but you're not going to outgrow it right away you can you can you can stay with it and until you're crossing over into another genre later. It'll do a little bit of everything very well. And then, uh, you know, at that point, if you want to get specific in freestyle, of course, you can go more down the direction of a chaos or, or something like this. But um, it's a good all around kite that's easy to fly. Um, it's lightweight, it's got three struts. Um, also, uh, the struts are spaced very wide on the kite, which loosens up the frame, makes it very easy to turn. Uh, it, it gives it kind of a softer feeling, so it's not very locked up. The bridle's only got three attachment points to the, to the kite, and, and um, yeah, it's fun. <laughs> it's, I, the best way to describe it is, like, this kite is a lot of fun. <laughs>